So, Joe 1049, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today. Lou and Shannon, I am certainly no expert. I mean, last week we told you the story about how I went on the mermaid parade ride at Casino Pier, and uh, that's like the biggest roller coaster I've ever been on. Well, the biggest drop there on the mermaid was 18 inches, right? 18 solid inches yeah. of vertical drop. Mm -hmm. Woo, scary. Yeah. But popular mechanics who know a little something about, well, you know, mechanics and things like that, have chosen the best roller coaster in New Jersey, and I would, if I was ever going to go on a roller coaster, it would be the one Popular Mechanics says is the best. Uh, absolutely. Congratulations to King Dakar. Yeah, King Dakar, which you would think would be an obvious choice just because of the whole height and speed and all that stuff that it does, but apparently made super well, too, if Popular Mechanics says. There are roller coaster clubs all right, there's packs of people that are in these clubs and they go around the nation and they go on all these different roller coasters and this is the one that is on the top of their list. Yeah, I think this would be a bucket list ride anyway and I think Popular Mechanics is just sort of confirming it for us all, you know, but we love hearing about it, so uh, congratulations. So Joe 1049, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today, Lou and Shannon. So Joey Chestnut won the National Hot Dog Eating Competition in Coney Island. Which is never big news. He wins it all the time. Exactly. Like, we're not surprised about that. But he is slowing down a little bit. So he had 63 dogs in 10 minutes. But last time he did this, he did 76 dogs. Wow. I mean, the guy's got to think about retirement at this point. <laughs> Just think about that for a minute. 63 dogs in 10 minutes for somebody who's slowing down. Right. And that's bun included. But he was injured. So he had like a ruptured tendon. He showed up on crutches. Everyone was like, ooh, what is this going to do for his eating he ability? Had a ruptured tendon where? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like a Achilles tendon or no, something like that. I wasn't in his throat or his jaw. It wasn't in his so jaw. So then what does that matter? I, I guess it didn't. He still won because the guy who was in second place, he had, let me see, 20 dogs. Yeah, that's, so that's a big difference yeah. between 20 and his 63. That sounds like a human eating hot dogs, right? As opposed to this guy who's like a machine. Yeah, it sounds like me on a Wednesday, the yeah. 20 dogs. <laughs> but a broken tendon? A busted tendon? How does that affect your mouth? I don't know. That was the excuse given, but he still won far and away. So yeah. I don't think he's ready to retire yet. I'm not uh, too sure that anybody who's uh, eating 63 hot dogs in 10 minutes needs to make an excuse for anything, right? That's a champion right there. Right. Well, this is his 15th victory. Yeah, he's, he's the man. So Joe 1049 South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today, Lou and Shannon. It turns out that even though New Jersey is a hot dog state, as we reported to you last week, not a hamburger state, more burger meat was sold than hot dogs this past weekend, according to one report. So we may be turning the tide here in New Jersey. We may be a burger kind of place. You can read about it on our SoJo 1049 app. So Joe 1049, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today, Lou and Shannon. It turns out experts have done some kind of research. Don't ask me how they figured this out, aside from asking people. And they figured the hardest work day of the week out. It turns out it's not Monday. The hardest work day of the week for most people is close to a tie between Tuesday and Friday. Friday, everybody's trying to get out of work. Tuesday is just that day when the lack of sleep kicks in. Tuesday edges out Friday. So the toughest work day of the week is Tuesday. And guess what today is? Sojo 1049. Sojo 1049, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today, Lou and Shannon. So Adele says that she was actually a shell of a person after canceling the residency 24 hours before it was supposed to kick off in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And she recently talked out about it and she had not been giving us updates or anything like that. And when she was candidly kind of opening up in this interview, she's like, listen, I'm not going to give you updates when there's nothing to update you on. Okay. That leads to more disappointment and then more backlash for me. So I'm going to keep it zipped until I know something. And she's like, I definitely want it to happen. It's still going to happen. I'm waiting on one more piece of equipment and then I'm going to launch a new date for it. She's like, but I stand by my decision. And I really respect Adele for that. You yeah. know, because she's like, it wasn't right. Well, there's a ton of pressure all the time to have an answer now, 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 now. When people want to know something. They want to know the answer. And th there's a lot of pressure from the press and the world. But do we have any idea what is going on? Has there been any hint of anything? This set wasn't right. The sound wasn't right. And, you know, she's like, I'm not going to go out there and take the hit because everyone's going to criticize me. I'm the face of this thing. Mm -hmm, and if right. it doesn't look 
awesome and I get terrible reviews, she's like, I'm not willing to take that on because other people didn't do their jobs. And if Adele can't get it the way she wants it, there must be something going on. That's it. You know, so, all right. Well, listen, I respect that too. She wants everything to be perfect. That doesn't take away the disappointment people had that it's not started yet. But she made it right. She called all those people individually and gave them tickets to come back and tried to pay for people. She feels horrible, but I love the fact that she's a perfectionist and she stands by her work and good things are worth the wait. So good on you, Adele. Yeah, and she also is the kind of person that people root for. There aren't a lot of people who don't like Adele, so she's not going to get a ton of bad press, but people tend to understand. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure and I feel badly for that. Well, I mean, good for her for sticking by it. And I'm sure the shows are going to be amazing yeah. when they happen. So Joe 104.9 South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today, Lou and Shannon. Are you going to take your grandson, Jonathan, to see the Minions movie? Oh, I, I don't know if it's going to work out, but I would love to because he's a huge Minions fan. Oh, aren't we all? They are the cutest little guys and their voices are totally addictive. So like, funny. We just love them. Yeah. Well, okay, the Minions movie, The Rise of Gru, took over the box office. It was $127.9 million domestic. Now, if you add in $93.7 million globally... That comes to a $202 million grand opening. That's not a uh, bad weekend, I understand. <laughs> My one daughter, Bella, is in high school. She's going to be a senior in high school. She went on Amazon and bought a Minions onesie. Her and all her crazy high school friends are going to dress in Minion onesies and go see the movie. That's hysterical. I, that is so funny. I <laughs> Are you like saying... Please don't do that. I, You know what? There's worse things they could be doing in high school than dressing like Minions <laughs> and going to the movies. So I'm all for it. Here, take some Junior Mints with you, too. Amazing. The Minions, they're the best. So Joe 104.9, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today. Lou and Shannon, I am certainly no expert. I mean, last week we told you the story about how I went on the mermaid parade ride at Casino Pier. And uh, that's like the biggest roller coaster I've ever been on. Well, the biggest drop there on the mermaid was 18 inches, right? 18 solid inches yeah. of vertical drop. Mm -hmm. Woo, scary. Yeah. But popular mechanics who know a little something about, well, you know, mechanics and things like that, have chosen the best roller coaster in New Jersey, and I would, if I was ever going to go on a roller coaster, it would be the one Popular Mechanics says is the best. Uh, absolutely. Congratulations to King Dakar. Yeah, King Dakar, which you would think would be an obvious choice just because of the whole height and speed and all that stuff that it does, but apparently made super well, too, if Popular Mechanics says. There are roller coaster clubs. All right. There's packs of people that are in these clubs and they go around the nation and they go on all these different roller coasters. And this is the one that is on the top of their list. Yeah, I think this would be a bucket list ride anyway. And I think Popular Mechanics is just sort of confirming it for us all. You know, but we love hearing about it. So uh, congratulations. So Joe 104.9, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today, Lou and Shannon. So Joey Chestnut won the National Hot Dog Eating Competition in Coney Island. Which is never big news. He wins it all the time. Exactly. Like, we're not surprised about that. But he is slowing down a little bit. So he had 63 dogs in 10 minutes. But last time he did this, he did 76 dogs. Wow. I mean, the guy's got to think about retirement at this point. <laughs> Just think about that for a minute. 63 dogs in 10 minutes for somebody who's slowing down. Right. And that's bun included. But he was injured. So he had like a ruptured tendon. He showed up on crutches. Everyone was like, ooh, what's this going to do for his eating he ability? Had a ruptured tendon where? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like a Kelly Stendon or no, something like that. I wasn't in his throat or his jaw. It wasn't in his so jaw. So what does that matter? I, I guess it didn't. He still won because the guy who was in second place, he had, let me see, 20 dogs. Yeah, that's, so that's a big difference yeah. between 20 and his 63. That sounds like a human eating hot dogs, right? As opposed to this guy who's like a machine. Yeah, it sounds like me on a Wednesday, the yeah. 20 dogs. <laughs> but a broken tendon? A busted tendon? How does that affect your mouth? I don't know. That was the excuse given, but he still won far and away. So yeah. I don't think he's ready to retire yet. I'm not uh, too sure that anybody who's uh, eating 63 hot dogs in 10 minutes needs to make an excuse for anything, right? That's a champion right there. Right. Well, this is his 15th victory. Yeah, he's, he's the man. Man. So Joe 1049 South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today. Well, it turns out that even though, as we reported last week, New Jersey is a hot dog state, not a hamburger state. It turns out more burgers were sold to be grilled than hot dogs this weekend in New Jersey, according to one report. So we may be turning the tide. Who knows if 2022 hasn't turned it around and made New Jersey a burger kind of state. You could read about it on our Sojo 1049 app.